and hey i saw fire like now this is now when the the drama now started which uh it's been a year it's almost a year hi guys so welcome back to my youtube channel and thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos so guys in case you're new here karim sana and kama kawaida don't forget to subscribe and if you're returning by thank you so much for always coming back to watch my video and to my new subscribers asante sana all of you are all welcome to this amazing channel so in the last couples of videos i've been showing you guys tips of starting a youtube channel how to get your 1000 subscribers how to upload a video and also how myself i i gained a thousand subscribers within a month and in the latest video i be i did show you guys how i reached twelve thousand subscribers so, so today's video is a bit different because i promise you guys i'm going to share with you my story what happened what uh the mistake that i did that drastically dropped my views to whatever i have right now which i don't want someone who has started their channel already to go through the same thing so sit guys relax sip a coffee me here i'm going to take my yogurt because guys it's so hot and i've been trying to to film like uh outside at the garden or near the pool near the the beach but because of the too much wind it was in vain and also because like the sun is too too high so forgive me guys i know my lighting ain't that fast but i'm just using a natural light for my phone and also outside so without further ado guys let's start the video so guys um what happened to my channel is uh let me take you back uh there is a point i explained to you that uh there is a time i used to get like a, a thousand views a day at times i could wake up to even three thousand views a day at times i was like and it's it was going up radically like it was moving rapidly so at times it reached to a point i was getting like what ten thousand views a day so i keep on asking myself oh god what is this what what am i going to do and by then i didn't even know how what is youtube algorithm how it works so let me tell you a bit of uh algorithm so uh, youtube algorithm means when one video is picking up you need to concentrate more on the video like your your the the youtube is suggesting your video to so many audience so in the suggested box in the up next page usually there is a youtube there is up next there is suggestion so when you see your video is going up it means the youtube is pushing the video for itself so in that point you need to give your audience the type of content that the youtube is pushing so in my case i didn't i didn't know that like to be honest i didn't know at all i could just continue with my normal vlogs but that one video was going viral and then i woke up it was at 200k it's moving 220 240 200 and this it took time like within a month is when i i, I started seeing this Oof, the videos are climbing climbing so fast so I kept on asking myself, my, my friend Sharon and the family is like, oh, Sharon, there is a video of mine which is going viral. What should I do? And Sharon could tell me, keep on posting, keep on posting, keep on posting. So after, after like three weeks, what I did, I was like, okay, now that I did a collab on the same village vlog, let me go, let me go visit another village so that I can do a similar video to that. I see if it's going to do what to pick up. Guys, it's work. And the people who know me, you know that if I'm really, really into something, I will push myself. I pushed myself. I used to visit, I visited Kilifi. You know, I stayed in Mombasa. Mombasa is not far away from Kilifi. So I went to Kilifi. I talked to a colleague of mine. I asked him, like, uh, you, you mind if I vlog in your village? You know, and in the village, they don't understand, like, what's the meaning of vlogging, kind of. So, and it was okay. It, it, it told me, okay, fine. You can just come and record a video. So I went to Kilifi. I went in Choni to be specific. A colleague of mine used to, that, that was their homestead. I did the videos of their Choni traditional lifestyle. And surprisingly, 
the video did well. I went the next day again. The video didn't do well. So again, I, I lost morale. I was like, okay, let me go back to my normal uh, town videos. Then I will see if others will speak. And remember this video that is going viral. The video is still moving. Like it's still going viral. So at that point, uh, I was like, let me not give up now because that video is still moving. I add more. The videos that I did a collabor collaboration with others are still moving. So a month later, I said, let me try the trick. So I went to another village as well. Now this time, I didn't go back to Chone, to Kilifi. I went to Kilifi again, but to another different, like Giriyama now, not in Choni. You know, in course, they have like nine tribes. There is Digo, there is Choni, there is Duruma, there is, you know. So I went to another different uh, culture, different, uh, which is um, Giriyama. Reaching there, I did, a I did like six videos. So I was like, let me try to post consistently. I could post Monday, Wednesday, and uh, uh, Friday as usual. Sorry, guys. I don't know what's wrong with my eyes. Okay. So I could post like uh, like three three times a week. And I started seeing the result. Oh, no. So when I saw the result, I was like, okay. So anyway, God has uh, I've seen miracles. So let me try to continue doing this. I went back again to the village. So now it became like a, a routine. Every weekend I could visit a village. And remember my queue by then, I wasn't even earning much on YouTube. Of it, I will show you, I will also explain to you how, how much I've earned on YouTube so far when I started and how much the video that went viral, how much I got uh, the money from it. So I could go, I use my own money. I could go to like every weekend, every Saturday and Sunday I'm there. Every Saturday and Sunday I'm there. And when I get a free time after work, you remember work nine to five. So after work, I come back home, I edit a video. I was like consistent so much. Oh, 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 oh. then, hey, I saw fire. Like now, this is now when the, the drama now started, which uh, it's been a year. It's almost a year, but I've, I I don't normally want to talk about it. But it's all always good to relieve yourself. You know, it makes you feel uh, comfortable. So after after doing the, the 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 posting the videos now, the videos were doing good. I, I could get like uh, four thousand views a day, you know. And I was like, okay, this is it. God has uh, seen my hard work. Guys, you won't even believe what happened. Oh, I felt so bad. I, I was in a confused moment and I was like, why? Anyway, what happened is ooh, ooh, I got some threats. I could not even say threats. I don't even know. I don't even have the right words to describe it. But uh, I felt, to be honest, I felt bad at the point. And also sometimes I was like, anyway, you never know why God uh, did that. So I was being I was being accused of copywriting people's content, someone's content that I did a collab with. Honestly speaking, guys, this thing really, really affected me to an extent. The whole of that month, I did upload a video. So I could call Sharon every day and ask him, Sharon, you know, I'm new in this YouTube. What does it mean copywriting? What's the meaning of, 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 of uh, a copywriter? Like when someone's saying that, you are copywriting their content. What does it mean? It means you're using the same content as them, or it means something of that sort. So I am here. I'm trying to beat the algorithm. I'm trying to go hustle. I'm trying to go and uh, see if my videos can grow up. And someone is coming here and telling me that you are copywriting my content. Eh, guys. That month was really, really not easy. So I could, I felt bad. I, I wasn't posting the entire month. I wasn't posting at all. And Matthew, I had videos. Then I called her. I told her, like, have you even checked my videos? You know, it's very wrong to accuse someone to copyright your, 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 your video. Because, guys, it's not easy to go outside there and look for a content. Especially me, I'm going all the way to a village. Remember, I got there on a weekend. I don't go there, like, on weekdays. Because weekdays, I'm at work. After filming the video, editing the video, which takes a lot of time, I upload. Then you tell me, that is my content. Why are you doing my content? I felt so bad, but I said one day, one time, you never know 
uh, how God would reward people. And uh, it, it was not meant to be. If you know, I was doing YouTube because I love it. So if he's saying it's yours, okay, then I'll just pull it off. So I was being told that you know you're a town girl. Why are you doing villages? Why are you doing the same content as I do? Really. I was so naive then. I wish I knew all these things before. Right now, like where I am right now, I wish I knew. I could not even listen. Sharon Gould told me, like, literally continue posting. There is no somebody's content. Using somebody content means you pull the somebody's content, whatever he has shot, is when you do the same thing. Then come, come, come think of it, you know. My video, when my video started going viral, is when I started having this controversy, like having the issues. But before that, I was just okay. So I even went to my village. Yes, I even went to my village and I did a video. And back then, if the videos were not doing good, I was getting like 500 views, like anyway, 400 views. And no one could come to me and start telling me like, you are copying my content, you are doing whatever I am doing. You know, as a small YouTuber, it's really, really painful and it's really, really hard for you guys to believe. Honestly, reaching what where I am right now, it's not easy. So when I go out there, I, I, I push myself and you come and tell me, like, you're copying my content, stop doing whatever you are doing, I'm going to copyright you, I'm going to give you a strike. Then I ask myself, you're giving me a strike because I'm using the same song that you are using. Or you're giving this me a strike because I am doing village and yet me I stay in town. Why are you going to do that? Then people could tell me just just stop it, just leave it. It's not proper. And besides, as I said earlier, mine was not a collaboration. Mine was a partnership because I paid, which I was willingly willingly like I never had any objection. She, uh, uh, she told me her rate and I was like okay because I'm the one who needed that. I said, okay, fine, I will do that. Besides, you are just high, high, high. I'm not even near you. Like, I'm just, I'm not even 10,000 subscribers. You're already at 100K. You are there at 200K. What What do you feel when somebody start like, you get, you see somebody having like 20,000 views? Which offense do you get? So I said, okay, fine. So I'm going to stop that. I'm going to drop it. And that's how I stopped doing the village vlogs because I didn't want scandals and never I didn't want drama. And that's how I stopped asking people for collabs. I stopped DMing these big YouTubers to tell them, please, can you assist me? Can we co collaborate? I stopped that because of the worst experience I had with collaboration. I'm not telling someone to do, like, uh, not to do a collaboration. No. This experience just happened to me. Besides, after learning some few tips, I came to notice that, uh, for instance, if you do a house tour, it doesn't mean that my house is the same as yours. You do a boyfriend tag. It doesn't mean that my boyfriend is the same as your boyfriend. If I, I say a village girl life, it doesn't mean that, oh, there is an insect here. If I say I'm going to do a village girl's life, it doesn't mean that my, my village life is the same as your village life. It is just the title, which I can even do right now, morning routine. I came to realize if you type in the YouTube, like you, YouTube is a search engine. If you type morning routine, you are going to get like a thousand morning routines that people have done. So I don't know why I was being told to pull the videos. I was being told not to do the same content, which I was so naive that I did, guys. Like I stopped. I didn't even, I didn't want drama. I didn't want many things because me personally, I do videos for fun. So I didn't want to do videos and yet I'm not happy of whatever is happening. So that one destroyed my channel. And this is a mistake that please guys, if you, or in case you're doing the same thing, don't ever do the same mistake that I did. It's going to spoil your channel. It's not It's not going to to make you grow. So from there, I just stopped asking people for... So from there, I just stopped asking people for collabs. I was like, okay, I will, I'll not do that. If you want to do a video with me, fine, I'll do a video. But me trying to text big YouTubers like, hi, my name is Beatrice Hongo. I have this. Can we do a collab? I said no. And it's really, really affected my channel, which I believe one day the channel will pick up. If not today, if not tomorrow, as Jalango said, you never know. Keep on working hard. Keep on doing the videos. One day it will pick up. 
so yeah that guys that's basically that's it what happened to my channel that's what made my channel to to fall down because of my stupidness because of my illness i didn't want the drama to escalate you know Besides, I was like, I love my job so much. So why do you have to stress me with this YouTube thing? And yet, I'm not even earning much from it. So, yeah. I think that's the story. That's what happened. Those of you who have been asking me, why do I have like 12,000 subscribers or 13,000 subscribers? I know by the time, I'm at 12,000 or something like that. So... I don't know by the time you're going to watch videos i'm going to be at least subscriber so many of you have been asking me why do you have a lot how did i gain that much subscribers and yet right now i have small views that's what happened to my channel which i believe right now we are going to grow step by step even if 100 people are watching i'm so grateful that even if 20 people are watching i'm so grateful as long as there is someone who is watching my video and even if i'm watching myself it also makes me happy because for me, YouTube is a therapeutic uh, place where I express myself. Whenever I feel sad, I feel happy. Like, I'm so happy when I vlog, when I record myself. So, yeah, guys. So, that it is what happened. If you wanted to know how my channel dropped and the mistakes that I did, which I didn't really regret, but it's never too late because I believe one day my channel will still grow so yeah so thank you guys in case you have another question feel free to ask if it's just lengthy i will do a proper sit down for you and i will show you so asante sana for reaching this uh watching this video till this father's end i'm going to say goodbye and i continue enjoying my yogurt and see you guys in my next video in the meantime let me show you guys how i've been struggling to put this video up so you need to watch it till this father's ends. And if you reach here, just tell me hello. So, bye guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Oh Lord. Let me see if it's, it's working out or if it's not working out. But so guys, the wind is, it's, um, I'm really trying to get an angle because it is too windy outside here and i really have to do this let me see let me see so, yeah 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 nikosa ah ah nikosa no 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 yes yes where